Welcome to the college football playoff. The season's had plenty of ups and downs, and all the drama has led up to this point, the first round of the 12-team playoff. And a home field advantage for one side. This place is rocking. And our matchup tonight sets up a potential Cinderella story. The last team to qualify for this 12-team playoff on the road against a team that likely believes it should be resting and watching this first round game on TV. This is a dangerous spot for the home team and a chance for the underdog to spring an upset and move on to the quarterfinals. As we'll see the number 11 seed in this playoff, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. The kickoff team is out there. Great energy as this college football playoff gets underway. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback. He'll start at the 25. The Red Raiders offense trots out there to open this game. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. And the Red Raiders come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Boy, after all the buildup and all the hype with a playoff game, you'd love to see the offensive line take control here on this first play. Just establish an identity. Let this defense know who they're facing. Tipped and then drops. A chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. Looking to pass, it's Morton. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. The Red Raiders bring their punt team onto the field. The returner is brought down. There is a flag on the field, so we'll check out this call. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. The offense will keep going here after that special teams penalty. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They get the senior with the ground, but it's a nice run there. And the Red Raiders with first and ten here. Handoff here from the shotgun. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it second and nine. No huddle now for the offense. Second down, we're going to throw it. Looking to set up a screen pass here. In the clear at the 25. They make the tackle, but that screen pass call worked out. They gained the first down yardage. The Red Raiders look to keep this drive moving. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. First and goal, handoff. And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. It's press coverage now from these DBs. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Hey, the defense is doing everything that they can to try to keep these guys out of the end zone. Now we've got a big third down coming up. Well, they get closer, but now they line up on third and goal from the one. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And they will trot out the field goal team here. And this one is right through. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. The turn begins inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's when the drive will start. So the Jacksonville State Gamecocks offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kurt. But what do you expect from them today? Uh, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. They'll we'll stop here behind the line for a loss of one. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. 
down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you just throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Running back has it on a screen now. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards and a first down. I think in the process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on him. They've got him down out near the 40. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. To the air, it's Turner. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Man, I love the toughness from this offense here on third down and short. Being able to get behind a big physical offensive line, they get a hat on a hat, get enough of a push, and the back is able to get behind there and find just enough real estate to pick up the first down. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Oh, here comes the reverse. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The defense there showed incredible discipline in the backside contained. And that reverse wasn't going anywhere. Just textbook. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Makes the catch downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunky yardage on the play. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. First down here for this offense. Oh, it's a reverse. And the defense not fooled there. They stop him for no gain. Well, the backside rules for a defense against the run are the check from the cutback, the counter, or reverse. That time they stayed home and were in perfect position we're able to stop that reverse in its track. Trying to create here on the move. And he's got it. And they finally get him down, but a huge gain to wrap up this first quarter. Well, Kirk, Texas Tech has the lead here. And the first quarter is in the book. So it is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. Through one period, these teams are finding out that playoff games just feel different. Who can handle the nerves better as we head to the second? They'll try to run it in on first and goal. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks. So with playoff pressure curve, the offense executes a long, grinding, methodical drive. You know, the thing I've loved about this offense all year long is their ability to either hit the big play or not have to rely on that, like this. They're able to sustain a drive and still come up with points and get a touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The extra point makes it a four-point game. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Texas Tech offense is back out on the field now. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Dropping back, it's Morton. Here's an easy completion to the back out of the backfield. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. And the Red Raiders will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. The 
shotgun handoff here. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Defensive backs up of the line, showing press. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. Offense cranking up the tempo now, no huddle. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And it's complete downfield. Tackle is finally made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 48-yard line. Off the play fake on first down. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. It's reeled in. It's Davis. And he'll step out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage there. The defense pursuit forced him out. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Looking to throw it on third and very long. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They'll earn the first down, but pay for it with a hard hit. The Red Raiders come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. They attack the deep middle of this defense, Kirk, come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties, and a big play as the result. And he's run out after a big game. The offense will be set up for the first down and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. And they'll try to run inside, but nowhere to go. It's a second and goal play for the offense. Back to throw. It's Morton. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Here we go. Back in the red zone. 0 for 2 scoring touchdowns here so far, and it's third and goal. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. And here comes the field goal unit onto the field. After connecting on his first try, this is a chip shot from 22 yards out. And it's good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Oh, and he's got some space here. They get him down, but he found a good lane in that return. So the drive starts with pretty decent field position. Here comes the Jacksonville State offense again. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Breaks loose at the 45. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Offense looking to throw the ball. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. He brings the two-minute warning. We'll have to see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. The game is five, so it's second and five now. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Tailback takes the handoff again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Looking downfield, it's Turner. 
last puck. Can he get in? Can't get to the end zone. They'll spot the ball at the two. Boy, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. Here's the handoff on first and goal. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Chris down here inside the 10 yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal. And if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A gap and try to overpower that defensive front. They'll look to throw it on third and goal. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. Boy, what a throw. But what's more impressive is the toughness by that quarterback knowing he's about to get hit and still makes that throw. And now the try for the two-point conversion. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Incomplete, but a late flag comes in. A lot of contact. Pass the defense. 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 Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield, and you get a call like this. He makes the grab a successful two-point try, and they bump the lead up even more. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. So a little under 30 seconds to go in the half. We'll see how they play this here in first and 10. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. They pressure it and get him the loss back to the seven yard line. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. And the back gets the football. And they get him down what will be the final play of this first half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And the Red Raiders will kick it off to begin the second half. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. Here comes the Gamecocks offense back on the field. They get the second half started with their running play. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Short pass, finds the tight end. Tackle made at the 41. It's a nice game. They're getting closer to the 50. Offense will set up on first and 10. They're going to run it. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Let's it go on the move. Launching deep. Catch is made way down inside the 30. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes him pay for it. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. The pickup is seven yards, now second and three. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice game. He'll throw it now. 
caught near the sideline. It's Baldwin. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup was good enough to move the chains. First down. On first and ten, looking to throw. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. They wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Another big play by this offense, and it continues to be the pass game. Between the offensive line, the receivers running good routes, and this fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks. That's a crucial touchdown for the offense padding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Now they'll go for a two-point conversion. Looking to throw. It's Turner. And he's got it. So the two-point try is successful, and they build the lead even further. Now they get set to kick it away. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And he stopped at the 20. Trying to mix up and half of That's good coverage there. And the Red Raiders offense is back out on the field now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. The Red Raiders hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. And now the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. They bring it down to the 38, but that's good enough for a first down. And the Red Raiders come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Good job by this offensive line and a great throw by the quarterback to get that first down there on third down. It's exactly what they needed to do. This is too big of a game. They've come too far. They're in the playoff. They're down in the second half. Good job of keeping this drive alive. Secondary up now, trying to jam these receivers. They look to throw it here on second down. Short connection to the tight end here. The defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Can he make it to the marker? Powering through. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. The Red Raiders look to keep this drive moving. This is why they're in the playoff, right? Not just the ability to throw the ball, but you get to a critical moment, a third down, you trust that offensive line to come up with a first down, and they get it. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. Back to pass. It's Morton. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackle made after a big game. And the Red Raiders are in the red zone. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Point after, knocked right through. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Jacksonville State offense back out on the field now. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Makes a quick catch. Solid gain there. Moves the ball up to the 32. Chris, much like we saw in the first half, this quarterback can put the ball right on the money. Now, you know the defensive coordinator at halftime spent all the time he could with the secondary to come up with answers on how to try to slow this guy down. Second down after that run in the previous play. Sticking with the running game. 
the junior able to bring him down quickly. See, that's how he can limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And here comes the punter onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. The returner is blocked now. Gets a start for the next drive. Set up. It's a first down play. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. The game moves the ball to a third and four. Important second down play coming up. Well, Kirk, Jacksonville State is in the lead here. Sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game sets while we have a chance. All right, here comes the fourth quarter. Everything to play for here. Who is going to stay alive, survive, and advance in the college football playoff? To the air, it's Morton. The pocket breaking down. Looks like he's going to run it. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. The Red Raiders come to the line in the hurry up. Defense does a great job of taking everything away downfield. This quarterback wanted to take a shot, but nothing is there. The only problem is they didn't account for him taking off and running, so he picks up the first down. Here comes a first down pass attempt. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. the snap quarterback drops back that's going to be incomplete a lot of contact no flag brings up third down not going to be easy here backed up a long way to go for a first down and he'll drop back here on third down he's a wide open receiver complete big play moves the ball all the way to the plus 35 Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hasn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Oh, a reverse. And the runner brought down after just a short game. No huddle here for the offense. in the backfield it's Hudson to get him down quickly not much of a gain on that completion so now it's third and short from the 30 chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt drops back from the shotgun looking for an open man looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open no stopping and takes it all the way touchdown Texas Tech that's an important score. We've got one possession game now, Kirk, and it's game on. It's game on, and now it's about this defense coming up with a stop. Everybody in the stadium knows that they're going to run the football and try to milk the clock. So what can the defense do to ensure they don't do that successfully? Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They'll return it from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the return to the ground. Here comes the Jacksonville State offense again. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember the ball is inbounds and the clock keeps moving here late in the game and you're trailing. It's a defense. You gotta start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You got all three to use. But at what point are you gonna start putting those into play? Dropping back, it's Turner. Oh, the quick throw falls incomplete. Wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. On third down, he drops to throw. Running back grabs it on a screen. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys to third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field. And they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. Now 
Now it's second down here. They'll run it here. Tackled at the 40. That'll earn a fresh set of downs. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The linebacker shifting around now. Second down after that run on the previous play. Oh, here comes the reverse. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. I love the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little bit lacking on that one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board on that call. And he pulls in the catch. It's a big gain across midfield down inside the 35. Well, I'd love to see this late in a game like this with the lead. Get aggressive. Go for it here on third down through the air. Quarterback delivers to his receiver. Comes down with a nice completion in the first down, and they keep that clock moving. No game there. This defense is getting sliced up on the drive, but they push back. That's on her. Yeah, kind of a bend but don't break mentality by this defense. They have been giving up some big chunks here on this drive, but let's see if a stop like this can give them a little bit of confidence here. Now try to pressure the quarterback on these upcoming plays. Scanning the field. It's Turner. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. And it's a touchdown, but hold on here. We have a flag down. Let's check what that's about. So obviously they'll decline the pass interference call, and the touchdown will stand. Now the try here for the extra point. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Jacksonville State, 30, Texas Tech, 20. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped with the 18. But Turner tried to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. The sure hands. It's Hudson. They'll crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. And he drops back in the gun. And he finds his tight end for the catch. That'll pick up a first down. They'll spot it at the 38. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Looking to throw it on first down. He's got it for a big game. And an explosive game moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 42. DB's looking to jam the receivers at the snap. First down, looking to throw the ball. Catch made on the left side. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. The Red Raider tussle to the line to run the hurry up. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Receiver makes the catch. And he'll head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. The Red Raiders begin a new series here, first and ten. Looking to pass, it's Morton. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And the Red Raiders took it a cash in this red zone trip. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Valdez. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. And with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Couldn't find anybody open. He just has to throw it away. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. 
from the shotgun. Drops back, looking for an open man. Gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. Numbers so on fourth down, it's an all important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And the kick is good. Offense settles for the lead on the drive. The snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seam able to recover the football. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. And the quarterback just kneels down. Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.